Okay, this video is about how to quickly and simply in uh, C Sharp convert JPEG images into PDFs. I needed to do this recently because I play in some amateur bands and uh, scan music occasionally to put to the website for other people to download. And my scanning software outputs uh, JPEG files and I needed to convert them quickly to PDF so I thought I would put together a quick little utility to do that. I'm going to show you today a very uh, stripped down bare bones version of that program showing you only what you need to do that and nothing extraneous. This is intended for programmers who may be new to Microsoft and .NET or and or C Sharp and or Visual Studio. So to show you this, I've created an Azure Virtual Machine with uh, pre-installed Microsoft Visual Studio. And I'm going to start Visual Studio for the first time right now. I'm leaving this in the demo uh, in case you are new to Azure Virtual Machines or Visual Studio or you're looking to set up an account soon so you can see what that process looks like. Okay, you can see the Visual Studio uh, Community Edition uh, requires that you have a Microsoft account. It's free, but you need to sign into it uh, on these uh, machines every so often. And now that Visual Studio is started, let's create a new software development project in C-Sharp to do the PDF demo. Okay, in the Visual C section, we'll just do a Windows Forms application. We'll call it PDF Demo. Now we have our empty project, uh, so the first thing I'd like to do, expand the toolbox and pin that. And so now we're in need of a library to handle uh, PDF creation. Now there are a variety of these available online, but I've used one in the past called PDF Sharp. So I'm going to uh, get it from the NuGet Package Manager here in Visual Studio. So it's telling us that currently we don't have any packages installed. We'll browse for some online. We'll search for PDF Sharp. And there it is, and we're going to install it. And you can see down here at the bottom that the package was successfully installed. And so over in our project references, uh, you can see that uh, there they are. If you had chosen to download the PDF Sharp package from their web page or uh, from some other location, the reference would not be automatically uh, added here and you would have to do that manually. So I'm going to do this demo in two stages. First, uh, we're just going to do a basic method that shows that the software works as installed. And then we're going to uh, write the part that uh, converts JPEGs into PDFs. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a button. I'm going to call this the Hello World button. Now it says hello world on it. Double click 
to get an event handler for that button and here's where we're going to paste in our code I'm going to uh, paste it in from the real project that I created so that it's just the relevant code and not anything else first of all let me zoom it in a little bit so you can more easily see the text get just a little more room first we're going to create a new PDF document with this command you can see that uh, Visual Studio doesn't currently uh, recognize this uh, we can fix that by adding the proper namespace by hitting control dot and put in the using statement you can see that that appeared uh, up here at the top and I'm just going to put in a little info title uh, called created with PDF sharp uh, into the document and then we need to add a page to the blank document that doesn't currently contain any pages and then we're going to create a graphics object so that we can draw onto that page and you can see once again there was no uh, reference found for this so again uh, control dot let Visual Studio find it include the namespace you can see that it appeared I'm gonna create a font with which to write text and we're going to write some text onto the document thus we're gonna draw a string this string uh, with the specified font in black in a rectangle that takes up the whole page notice page width and page height uh, so that you don't have to know those those are variables the document knows what they are and then we're gonna center the text and then we are going to specify a location and save the document now earlier I created a folder on this computer called PDF demo temp and I put a couple of music pages in there in JPEG format this is the folder to which we're going to save the document so I'll change that in my path here let me put a breakpoint here so we can make sure the method gets invoked and we'll start the program and there's our program running if we click the button we have worked our way into this method and we will just step through the lines and there you go now if I've done it correctly the document should appear here and sure enough it does let's make sure it has the text in it that we specified and it does so we've demonstrated that the basic PDF building software works. Now let's take care of creating PDFs from the JPEGs. Let's put another button on the page. double click get an event handler and we'll go through the same process of uh, dropping some code in again for this I'm going to use an open file dialog and we're going to point it to the appropriate folder if the dialog once we've invoked it returns a satisfactory result we will like before create a new document put a little title on it and then we'll go through each selected document going to add a page to that document get ourselves a graphics object to draw on the page and then use the draw image command to place the uh, JPEG okay so draw image is a method that we need to create here in the class and it looks like this 
you're going to take a graphics object, you're going to take the path, and x and y for the origin and the width and the height uh, relative to that. And then we're going to get the uh, JPEG path and we're going to draw it right into the document. So that takes care of drawing the each individual page and when we're done we can save it. Okay, so your own code probably won't use a hard-coded file name, but let's give it a try. Okay, we're going to click the JPEG to PDF button. Select the two pages with control click. Open. And now it should be finished. Let's take a look. And there is uh, result.pdf. We'll have a look at it. And sure enough, it has page one and page two. So that's the entire demo. That's just how easy it is to convert JPEGs to PDF with PDF Sharp or whatever other library you choose. Um, I'm guessing that uh, any library you would like to use would make it uh, similarly easy. The commands might differ a little bit, but it'll be um, the flow will be something similar to that. And so I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.